Today is January 11th, 2021. My name is Charles Souter. Today I'm presenting the third in my series of the fear of. This is the fear of failure. Previously I've discussed the fear of public speaking and the fear of rejection. My main message today is you have perfect control over your inputs. And if you measure success by completing your inputs, then you cannot consider yourself to be a failure. This discuss the distinction between a fear and a phobia. A fear is simply a natural emotion that protects people from harm when they face real and imminent danger. However, a phobia is an excessive fear or anxiety related to specific objects or situations that are all out of proportion to the actual danger they present. Thus, normal fears are healthy and appropriate as they warn you to take immediate action to avoid harm to a clear and present danger. Phobias, however, are irrational and result in excessive fears that serve no useful purpose. Irrational fears only serve to keep you bound to your comfort zone and limit your options for living an expansive life. Thus, the key to overcoming the fear of failure is improving your self-esteem by gaining more positive experiences, insights, and beliefs. A healthy self-esteem can be acquired over time with intention and effort and perhaps, if necessary, the guidance of a trained therapist or counselor. Proposition 1. The fear of failure is a psychological, not a physical threat. The fear of failure is a result of perceived threat to one's self-esteem. People with low self-esteem believe they are worthy only if they are successful in the eyes of others. Any potential threatening situation to one's self-esteem will cause fear. The fear of failure falls into the phobia category as no physical threat exists. People with a fear of failure believe they are not good enough to achieve the success they desire. They erroneously believe success brings them the admiration of others and failure brings them blame and disapproval. The lack of approval from others due to the misperception of failure based upon output rather than input reinforces their erroneous belief that they are not good enough. From a rational perspective, a person is successful and they should consider themselves successful if they measure success as providing the inputs they intended. If they don't get the outcome they desired, then they can learn from the experience so they can try again with this new insight. Whenever you have honorable intentions and do your best to achieve them, providing the inputs you intended to make, you have nothing to be ashamed of, nothing to regret, you are a success. A person with a healthy self-esteem might be worried about getting the results they intended, but worry should provide more right actions as inputs and not excessive fears that block their attempts. Proposition 2. Excessive psychological fears, as I said previously, are unhealthy and unnecessary. Knowing the distinction between a fear and a phobia allows you to pick the right cure. The wrong approach to fear of failure is to avoid challenging goals. Those, those offering the opportunity to achieve personal ambitions. The real source of excessive fear is not necessarily failure itself, but instead the, mis the misconceived and irrational belief that your self-esteem is at risk when attempting change or oh, any goal-seeking effort. Phobias are 100% mental and they, be, they can be cured by altering the causes, which are erroneous notions and beliefs based on one, emotionally successful past experiences, improper information and perceptions, that's number two, and number three, a low self-esteem, either self-confidence or self-worth. Proposition three. Psych psychological fears or phobias are best treated with cognitive reorientation. If you suffer from the fear of failure, you simply need to spend more time, one, planning how to reach your goals, two, 
working your plan with the inputs that you can control, and three, learning how to perform better as you go. Worry and or con concern is simply a useful emotion. Does it mean you should stop with attempt to achieve your goals? Worry simply prompts you to prepare more and work harder. However, fear that motivates you to avoid change and ambitious goals, as I have said repeatedly, is not useful. Preparedness builds self-confidence that you can handle yourself during the process of working to achieve your goals. In the short term, preparedness and positive actions converts immobilizing fears into confidence of success. Once you're into action, you will tend to be more confident. In the long term, however, building a high self-esteem eliminates all irrational fears, such as the fear of failure. My final message related to my, my main message, control of your inputs is perfect, is that you can succeed 100% of the time with your inputs. You can recover from excessive irrational fears and phobias by one. Gaining the more accurate perceptions of reality, this is gathering better information. Building more confidence through preparation and experiences, even those experiences might be controlled. And most importantly, fostering a healthy self-esteem by repeating positive affirmations such as, you are good enough, just as you are. That's all for now. Remember to stay positive, you'll be happier, healthier, and live longer.